Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we've got a real life story to share with you about a UK company and their unexpected £12,350 setback in an SDLT refund appeal. Meet Simon, a director of Simon Acquisitions Limited, a company that specializes in purchasing, renovating, and reselling residential properties. Simon's story begins in August 2016 when he acquired a derelict bungalow from an estate sale. He believed it had been a residential dwelling before the previous owner's passing and paid SDLT at the higher residential property rates. But here's where things took a turn. After purchasing the property, Simon discovered severe damage caused by a leaking water pipe in the central heating system. This structural issue led to concerns about the property's suitability as a dwelling. Then, in May 2019, Stamp Duty Savers submitted a refund claim on Simon's behalf, supported by evidence of roof leaks, damaged internal plasterwork, missing, defective plasterwork, and other deficiencies. Additionally, health and safety concerns added to the mix. HMRC initiated an inquiry into the claim, seeking more information about the property's condition. Simon provided responses, but ultimately, HMRC closed the inquiry and rejected the claim in March 2020. The pivotal point in this saga was whether the property was suitable for use as a dwelling. HMRC argued that a building must be derelict and require demolition to be deemed unsuitable. However, if renovation is possible without demolition, the property remains suitable. Here's the kicker. The tribunal referred to a similar case. PN Bewley Limited versus HMRC, which involved a derelict bungalow. Unlike Bewley, where demolition was unavoidable, Simon's property, despite needing modernization, was still habitable and had been previously lived in. The renovation work was standard for an occupied house. In the end, the judge concluded that the property's history as a dwelling with some structural issues didn't make it structurally unsafe. As long as a property has facilities for essential functions like washing, cooking, sleeping. So, where did Simon go wrong? It boils down to understanding the criteria for SDLT refunds and the importance of proper documentation. If you're in a similar situation, make sure you consult with experts who can guide you through the process. With this you get a free 15-minute consultation. And not just that but the very best of experts in the field of accounting. Thanks for joining us today. If you found this story and advice helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more informative content. Until next time, stay informed and make wise decisions. Goodbye.